Hey, Nicola, good to see you. Um, sorry, my video is not on. There we go. Good to see you. Um, you've said this before. You guys are not the same team uh, that you saw the Blazers in 2019. There's a lot of differences. But how much more prepared do you guys feel going into this playoffs, uh, given the experiences that you've had the last two years in the postseason? Uh, I mean, uh, the experience is really good for us. Uh, you know, we have we have a, a couple guys that play in the playoffs. Uh, you know, so just just by experience that how really every possession matters. You know, uh, and really every every loose ball, or whoever like it's really every every detail in the game is matters. So it's uh, it's gonna be a uh, helpful that we had a uh, uh, last two, three years of uh, playoff experience, you know. Katie Wingy, Altitude. Hey, Nicola, how do you expect Portland to defend you personally? I, I mean, I really don't know. Uh, I mean, Nurk did a good job defending me. So, uh, so I, I can see everything, to be honest. Uh, I can see that they, they will do anything. They, they, they can go one on one, they can double, they can do whatever, you know. So uh, we will see on the game. Who knows? Kyle Fredrickson, Denver Post. Hey, Nicola, I know you spoke a little bit last week about uh, playing against Nurk, but I was hoping you could take us back a little bit to 2017. Just during your brief stint as teammates, uh, what are your strongest memories from that time? And what was your reaction uh, to his trade, being that it really opened the door for you to be the, the starting center here? I mean, it happened four years ago. So, I mean, uh, I did, I, it, it just we were both young and uh, we, uh, we kind of didn't, I think now we can play together, but in that moment, we kind of didn't know what to do that we were both young. So uh, we kind of couldn't play together. Uh, but I think now, now we can we, we can easily play together. Uh, just because how he his passing is good, how he's reading the game, his basketball IQ is really good. So um, he's a really big body down there. So I think now we could we could play together. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Asty Hubbard, ESPN. Nicola, um, just wanted to get your reaction, Damian Lillard. You know, was recently talking about just um, how he has viewed your season and how he said that he believes you're the MVP. When you have a guy like Damian Lillard, who you know obviously you've seen a lot um, in years past, kind of give you that respect heading into this series. What's your reaction to that? I mean, uh, it's it's to me, it's just say the respect. I mean, uh, I respect him. I respect the whole the whole Portland team. Uh, they have a really great team. I mean, him by himself, by himself having a great, great season, you know. So he uh, he's up there in, 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 in that conversation for MVP, of course. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, I think MVP is just an individual award. Uh, I think neither him or I are thinking about that is a big thing, and I think we are looking as a big picture, you know. But of course, uh, I respect him a lot. He's a great guy. Uh, He's playing a really high level. He changed the game, I think. And, um, you know, we will see in a couple of days. Dwight Jaynes, NBC Sports Northwest. Nicola, I, I'm curious. You've played them a number of times now. And what concerns you the most uh, when you play them? What do you guys need to do to beat them in the series? I mean, they're they're uh, extremely dangerous team. They have a uh, uh, three guards that can easily score thirty. They have a uh, they have a uh, uh, they have a Carmelo who is top ten all time scoring leader. They have Nurk and Cantor uh, uh, as a, as a really big threats down down, uh, down under the baskets. You know, uh, offensive rebounds, putbacks, whatever. They have a Collington, who is a great defender, who is a great shooter. I think they have a really good, uh, they have a really dangerous team. So I cannot point one thing. It's going to be maybe three point line, but they can, they can, you know, CJ, I think he's one of the best mid range uh, shooters in the game. So I think, you know, Mal is a mid range. So I cannot point one thing. Go back to Mike Singer with the Denver Post. 
Hey, Nicola. When Jamal went down, did you feel like you needed to, to take on more responsibility, which is kind of crazy given that you were already having an MVP season, but did you feel like you could accept more responsibility at that moment? Uh, I think, yeah, just by, but just by leading the guys, just by talking to them, you know, especially the young guys uh, that didn't play much, uh, just by talking, just to make, make them easier uh, playing. You know, just to show them like the little shortcuts, how the, he can go to the spot, how he, he can go there, how to screen maybe or whatever, so how to use the screen or whatever. So I think by just by talking and uh, and, and uh, communication is uh, something that maybe I did a little bit better job, maybe. Cassidy Hubbard, ESPN. Okay, I just want to ask you about Michael Porter. Um, and you know what you've noticed specifically in his maturity and growth from last year's playoffs heading into this year's playoffs. Uh, I mean, we will see him in this playoffs, but uh, he 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 from the last playoffs to this season, he improved much. He's more uh, confident. He's more mature. He's shooting the ball, of course, uh, really well. He's flying, uh, you know. So that he's just uh, took a step forward to step up and upgrade himself. Haiti Wingy, Altitude Sports. On that note, Nicola, what do you guys need from Michael Porter in this series in order to win it? Score 50. Ready? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, of course, to score, uh, but uh, Joy by his uh, how he can affect the, the on the offensive glass on the defensive glass too, just to have a lot of uh, rebounds, you know, just to be into the game focused. All right, Nicola, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Alexander Zikic. Ah, zdravo Nikola, kako je to se mi kako ide kako prati čova sedmica pripreme za prvu takmicu u playoffu. Uh, kako je se Fokusiram više i ko je uradio domaći, tako da kažem, i, 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 i gledao, gledao ovaj, ko je uradio domaći, bukvalno, to će biti, to će odlučiti pobjeda. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Nikola. Pleasure. Pleasure. Malaković.